I uncovered a group of 10 cyber criminals on Discord who hacked into and spied on over 30 people. And the way I figured out is because I somehow got access to their Discord bot, and I'm gonna show you everything inside of the server. And there's a twist. Some of the people that got hacked are kind of pieces of garbage. Now for each one of these victims, I wanna show you the levels of spying that these cyber criminals can do while they're inside of your computer. Now in the very basic level of spying, these guys get the information about your computer, but they also get the information about your Discord account. Now, when someone gets information about your Discord account, they usually get your Discord token. This is called a token grabber. Now, if you have someone's Discord token, you can get their username, their ID, but you can also see what their Discord email is. Oh, what's that? You can also see their phone number associated with the account. But if someone grabs your Discord token, they can log into your account, which means they can also see what credit cards you have on file that also contains your billing address. Now, I've got to be honest, it's a little unsettling that these random cyber criminals on Discord will have your home address, but even even if you use a burner email and you don't buy Discord Nitro, they still have your Discord token, which allows them to log into your Discord account even if you have two-factor authentication. In fact, there was another victim who got his token grabbed, and these people went into his DMs and they found his ID. And given the other things that these guys do, I'm pretty sure that ID is going to be used for some sort of cybercrime somewhere else on the internet. But the second level of spying that these guys do and the second cybercrime they commit is using an info stealer, which grabs your usernames and your passwords passwords, and also your browser cookies. So if you were worried about your Discord account being hacked and them looking through it, well, now they have access to every single one of your accounts that you've logged into. Now, the third level of spying is honestly the most unsettling and has caused the most problems that you'll see in this video. What these cyber criminals can do is they can watch every single thing you do on your computer because your computer is ratted. It has a remote access Trojan on it. And what does that mean for you and I? Well, these scammers ran a command, which is indicated by on demand, to take a screenshot of the victim's computer without them even knowing at all. These scammers also tried to run a command to take a photo from your web camera. Now, thankfully, in this case, there was no webcam. Can't say that for the rest of them. But with this remote access Trojan, they can also access your live microphone. They can listen in on you while you're on your computer. And if they don't have the time to listen to you, well, it doesn't matter because your voice is constantly being recorded in two minute intervals and being uploaded to these cyber criminals. For three hours, these guys were constantly taking screenshots screenshots of this victim's computer and also uploading even more malware. I mean, why stop at one piece of malware on your computer that's spying on you? Why don't we get another one to steal the rest of your passwords in case we missed one? So now you have a good gist of what these people can do when they have access to your computer, but I don't think you understand how big of a piece of sh** every single one of these individuals are. Whatever bad thing you think they're going to do on your computer, you're wrong. It's worse than you think. Now, just so things aren't depressing this whole entire video, I'm gonna give each one of the victims a fun little nickname just to keep their identity safe. And I wanna start off with our first prime victim, Big Money Man Michael. Now, Big Money Man Michael, when he's on his computer getting spied on by some random teenagers on the internet, uh, he's actually on a, a, a stock market thing. You know, he's doing trading. And the second the scammer saw this, they went instantly for the jugular. They ran a command to grab this guy his cookies, his usernames, and his passwords, and they went on his PayPal, which has his billing address. And since he's poor on PayPal, they're probably gonna try and extort him with that billing address. And the rest of this conversation is, to put it lightly, pretty f***. Our one scammer here is uh, bragging that he's constantly ratting people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am constantly committing illegal activities on the internet. And his little protege wants some help. He wants to rat too. I'll teach you how to be me, man. Everything, it's basic. You just rat hella people. You split some stuff with me if you get money out of it. I don't need a lot of cash. Money. <laughs> All I need is just money to enjoy my boredom. Buy a game or some shut. You can keep all the rest of it. This guy needs money to enjoy his boredom. And I can already imagine what's going on. This guy is jobless. He probably gets home from school. He goes on his $4,000 RGB computer for mommy and daddy. And he thinks to himself, mm, I must steal money from people because mom won't buy me my video game. That is $60 and I'll play once. If you are going to be a piece of garbage and steal from someone, steal from a rich company like Amazon. Uh, wait, I probably can't say that on YouTube. YouTube. But Big Money Michael was trading like normal, trying to make a little bit of money. And the second our little Rottweiler scammers notice that he has money because he's trading, what they're going to do is they're going to try and take his money. But hold the phone for a second. Because if he doesn't have a lot of money, instead of scamming Big Money Michael, they're actually just going to place bad trades on his account in front of him to make him lose money. These people are pieces of absolute garbage. No, you're f***ing. 
in place, trash. Now, Big Money Michael notices that there's something wrong with his computer. So he's going to go through the process of resetting his windows, removing everything to get the malware off his computer. But then the scammers run a command. And what they do is they disable RE Agent C, which is your Windows recovery agent. And after they ran that command, Big Money Michael tried resetting his PC, and Windows said they could not find the recovery environment. I will note that down as reason two why these guys are PCs and shit. Now the next victim we're looking at is Skibbity Toilet Brain Brian. Because our fella here was watching Arrow on a pirated website, and he also didn't activate Windows either, so. Regardless, these scammers run a command to trigger a jump scare, which would be horrifying if you're watching some random show and you get a jump scare. And right after the jump scare, this guy goes back to watching his show. They run another command to set his volume to 100%, blowing his eardrums out, and right after that, he turns his volume back down. He then goes back to watching the same TV show. Brian, my sweet Brian, your computer is compromised. Now, if Brian was watching this video, he'd be a little unsettled, because we actually caught Brian downloading game cheats. He downloaded a file called Arctis Temp Spoofer underscore cracked. He had some issues with opening it up at 9.03 a.m., and five minutes later, he searches up this lady triple X and just turn on the sensor editor, please. He then proceeds to go on the internet where every single one of these photos that are in front of your screen are photos of women without any clothing on. I think at this point I should have just nicknamed the guy Gooning George because the passwords that he got stolen were for websites like Cam Blank, Cam Blank, and Cam Blank. Yeah, this guy is Gooning George. Now, again, the point of these are to show you what these scammers are trying to do. And remember the time he was looking at those ladies? Well, these scammers ran the command to try and take a photo from his webcam. By some modern day miracle, the camera was not found, he did not have a webcam, but if they did get a photo, that photo would be illegal to have, because the person using this computer is clearly a minor, given they're playing like Krunker.io, but do you think these guys care if they have that illegal material? No, they already broke three different laws just getting access to this person's computer. It is clear these guys do not think, and they have all the capacity to do very harmful stuff, and when you have no brain and a lot of power, what do you get? A f***ing disaster. Faster, I tell you. And the best way to illustrate that is with their next victim, Ghosted Grant. And why is his name Ghosted Grant? Well, he was on Snapchat with someone. He asked if they were single. They are single. I think you know what I'm aiming for. They turn on chats to delete immediately. Yo, will you be my girlfriend? And then he tried calling her. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't talk. But after a couple of days of spying on this person on their computer, they actually get a photo of their webcam. And it is a photo of a child on a computer. I mean, the photo's overexposed, you could barely see anything, but it is genuinely a kid on a computer. These criminals are spying on kids. You know what, on the flip side, they also did get a photo of someone's really tacky and awful Louis Vuitton belt. I'm trying to lift your spirits so we can keep going here. Now our next victim here, I just nicknamed him Groundhog Day. Because while he downloaded the malware, they took a screenshot of his desktop and we can see him talking to one of the scammers where they send him a file zara cc spoofer.exe our victim asks is it ratted it's not malware i've been using it for a while okay i'll test it later he then downloads it opens it and he's typing in why ain't it open because it's malware why are you downloading random files from people on the internet now the scammers make up an excuse that it doesn't work with your motherboard and the reason why this victim's name is groundhog day is because he's talking to the scammer and he said I've been ratted about 10 times. Make it 11. But there's something that all the victims have in common, which explains how these scammers got over 30 plus victims. And to figure it out, we had to look at another victim. Now, again, when these people spy on you, they can also figure out every single key that you type. You can see that this person's typing in Wi-Fi bot, ter, court, court. Okay, this word court's coming up a lot. They also typed in DDoS tool, GitHub IP ping lagger banner, and how to DDoS. So the only lead that I had was this word court. And while I was searching for the word court, Court, there was a victim who put the word court again. Also ignore the fact they put ebony <laughs> <laughs> but if we look down, this person types in court, and we have a program that opens up. And what does this court program do? Well, it's got doxing tools, DDoS tools, doxing guide, IP lookup, IP grabbing data breaches, extra doxing tool, no G because you gotta look cool, email spammer, pizza guide, SWAT guide, fire department, Roblox cheat, phone lookup, and reverse pick. So it turns out that some of our victims aren't just naive, stupid kids on their computer. A lot of the victims of this are 
people trying to be their own internet gangster edgelords. They're trying to do all this malicious stuff, and at the end of the day, they got hacked. This type of person that downloads these things, I like to call them skids, or script kitties. And taking a look at our next victim, who also typed in the word court, we're nicknaming him Skid One. Kind of like Thing One from Dr. Seuss. There's a Thing One and a Thing Two, there's a Skid One, and there will be a Skid Two. But Skid One here is DMing his friends, and he's asking, do you have any doxing websites that I can use with Discord? Or image loggers that still work? Of course, this guy doesn't watch my videos because there's no such thing as an image logger. But this fella here, the guy that got hacked, needs one badly. And he just wishes that he knew a doxing website where if I put their user ID, I get their full name and passwords and stuff. I'm gonna save you from the two minute lecture that I was just about to have, but if you're planning on doxing someone, maybe take a step back and think, am I on the internet too much? Now I wanna point out that this malware stays on your computer. So when you turn off your computer and turn it back on, it automatically goes on. And the next day, all of the scammers decided to add this guy to a group chat where they started extorting him. Do not leave or block us. We know everything about you. We just want one thing from you. Very simple, I promise. But if you do not follow simple guidelines, there will be consequences. Can you voice call? I will leave you alone if you give me something. And what these people want is this guy's Roblox account pin. And when this guy tries securing his computer, they trigger a blue screen of death, crashing his computer. Now that was Skid 1, but let's give it up for Skid 2. They took a screenshot of his computer, and I just want to say, this wallpaper absolutely banging, baby. <laughs> this is excessive. And if we take a gander in this screenshot, turns out the dude was caught halfway through uploading someone's docs. The longer this goes on, the less I feel bad about these victims. You know, probably not the best thing to say, but that's where I get to this final victim. This is Captain Skid. And the reason why I'm calling him that is because, again, when he downloaded malware, there was a screenshot that caught him uploading someone's docs on another docsbin-esque website. There is some sort of irony in someone trying to expose someone's personal information online when they have malware on their computer. There's also a conversation that this guy had with his friends where uh, one of his friends said, I'll let you be my swatter. And her victim got pinged from one of his friends saying, uh, do you want to do that? You know, you need some clients. And her victim said, why not? They then uh, start DMing someone saying, do you want to teach me? I like it. Baby, something, 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 a lot of something over me. <laughs> and then they say they're 12. And usually that's what these people do. They will catfish creeps and then extort them out of money. Uh, you could be the judge of whether that's good or bad. It won't put them behind bars, so it's not the best thing. And the last tidbit from this guy who is playing Krunker is that he's messaging someone asking them, can you help me get a cut This feels like a crossover episode, but what this means is basically a teenager that's been groomed into cutting words, usually the groomer's name, into their skin with a knife to satisfy some sick, twisted fantasy of the groomer. This is depraved shit this guy. But again, I need to make it clear that don't think of these cyber criminals as Robin Hoods, though. This is just one victim that they found. Remember, they spied on kids. They tried to get a naughty photo of a minor for blackmail. They stole every single person I've showed you. They stole all of their usernames and passwords and cookies. And there's another type of victim these guys go for. Cheaters in video games. In fact, in one of the screenshots, we can see this GitHub page of Nemesis Cheats, Elite Cheeks, Valorant Cracked. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the reason reason why this is in the first screenshot of this whole entire thing is because this is what the dude downloaded and got his computer hacked with. And the reason why these cyber criminals go and try to hack cheaters is because they're so stupid. Like this one guy is DMing the guy that hacked his computer. And they're having a normal conversation because this guy is completely unaware that his computer is compromised and being watched by this Trevin guy. Yeah, I cheat in every game I play. I just can't resist. My brother in Christ, you can't resist downloading malware. Anyways, while I was investigating getting all of this, these guys actually got a new victim, who I'm nicknaming Mr. Omniscient. Through the DMs, this guy sends him a random file that he downloads. If we look in this dude's downloads, we have Spoofer, Cracked, Spoofer Cracked, Fortnite External Eve, Beastly Cracked, Cracking Tools. This guy should win an award for the most amount of malware in a downloads folder. I decided to add him on an alt account. Hey, you're being ratted right now. Disconnect from the internet and fully wipe your PC. Blah, 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 dialogue skip. He appreciates it and he's not downloading hacks or nothing. 100% believe you after looking at your downloads folder, but I do not give a fly and flip what you're downloading. Just wipe your PC, change your passwords. And then Mr. Omniscient here starts to say, you see, the difference between me and y'all is that I'm different, spelt incorrectly. You didn't think I saw it was a rat. Oh, shit. 
Arrest! I do not care what you're about to say. Just secure your PC, completely wipe your PC, do not keep any files, and then change all your passwords. He did reset his PC, and these guys were damn frustrated, I'll tell ya. Now let's move our focus to the people that are behind this Discord bot. I wanted to do a whole section where I dive deep into these people and understand how they behave and how they react and what communities they're in. And it turns out that every single one of these people are cut exactly from the same cloth. They're internet degenerates that are trying to act like Discord gangsters wherever they go. I can either read their messages, which they are basically them trying to act all hood with the n-word in every single sentence, or I can save you some time and not repeat the same thing over and over again for each 10 of these scammers. And I know these cyber criminals have some satisfaction watching people and what they do, but if you want to people watch and see some absolute creatures, just go outside and go to the mall. Because there are some weird people that go to the mall. It's all the same levels of fun, it's not illegal, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you'll find me in there with my maid outfit on. Bye-bye, I love you. Mwah.